check it. All right, guys, you are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, GME, and SPY. This is your weekly update and prediction where we look at the bigger time frames and give you guys perspective and peace of mind looking at the macro. And then we also look at the smaller time frames as well as we can make decisions as traders to build our bags for the future. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Please do your own research and due diligence before buying any stock or crypto asset. We're gonna be looking at AMC, Jimmy, and SPY in this video, and let's not waste any more time and give you guys the weekly outlook and prediction. All right, y'all, you are back for another video with Data Zero. This is your weekly update and prediction, giving you guys the technicals and fundamentals that you need to know as a trader and investor. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Please do your own research and due diligence before buying any stock or crypto asset. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, and the data and see what we have going on. Again, this is the weekly outlook and prediction, giving you the information that you need to know. So again, just remember that Monday, the market is closed, ladies and gentlemen. Monday, the market is closed. So that is the 19th. The market is closed. As far as the trading week, we will see trading through the week of the days of the 20th until uh, the 23rd. So Tuesday, the 20th until Friday, the 23rd. As far as news that you could see possibly. So as far as what we could see, as far as big impact news is FOMC. I will be live during FOMC. So you guys can tune in to see that live to see the technicals. It's going to be extremely volatile. As far as FOMC is projections and what I think is going to be happening. Honestly, I think the Fed is going to be a little bit hawkish, which is going to be bearish for the market. I think we're actually going to see a little bit of volatility during FOMC. Normally see some swings to the upside, swings to the downside, but I think the market is anticipating the Fed being a little bit more hawkish because of those inflation numbers that came out last time we got CPI. They were not very impressive and the market was not impressed by them, but I think the Fed will be even more or less impressed by them and have a little bit of hawkish term, tone during this FOMC, which will be in turn bearish for the market. There's other signs showing up that will show bearishness for the market as well. You guys can see that the VIX is starting to come to the upside. There's multiple gap fills to the upside for VIX. I do think VIX is actually going to continue to the upside. And again, when the VIX goes up, the market goes down. If you look at the past couple of days, you guys can see that the VIX has been in an overall uptrend building in this uh, expanding megaphone, which is probably going to have a pop to the upside. Again, this is probably going to be very bearish for the market. Another thing that we do have indicating bearishness in the market as well is the Dixie, the US dollar. The US dollar is continually moving to the upside trying to push for 105. When the dollar goes up, the market goes down. Again, the dollar moves inverse of assets. So you normally when you see the dollar start to move to the upside like this, that shows bearishness in the market and I do think we are going to see correction. If you want to see a bull market for SPY, normally the dollar has to be under 99. So Dixie, as far as the dollar is concerned, when it's under 99, you normally do see a bull run or more bullishness in the market. And when it's above 99, you normally see bearishness in the market. Right now, the dollar approaching 105 is going to be putting some bearish pressure on the market. Current price for Dixie right now, 104.28. So these are all indications as far as we can see that we're probably going to see some bearishness this week for SPY. Also, technicals not looking good. So this is a lot of indicators, ladies and gentlemen, that 500 could potentially be the top for SPY. And I was one to say that 500 would be a decent level for SPY to top and potentially could be the top. We also give you guys the signal for SPY hitting 500 before it hit 500. So we let you know that here on this channel as well. So you guys can see that we do have two rising wedges. One two they also seem to top at this 50350 level which is a potential double top starting to form and we have already broken under major support and resistance sitting here at that $500 level if spy cannot reclaim $500 you're definitely going to see a move to the downside and what looks like it's going to be happening is on here on Tuesday is the market's going to try to move to the upside, retest 500 and get rejected. Why do I say that? Because you can see MACD on the hourly time frame, deep red. MACD on the two hour time frame, deep red. And we still have plenty of room to the downside to run. You can see here on the four hour time frame, we also have red MACD and plenty of room to the downside to run on RSI. Same thing on the daily time frame. 
with bearish divergence, you can see price drifting up, bearish divergence, RSI drifting down. Again, this will play out in a big way. I think SPY is setting up for that bigger correction that we're looking for here on this channel. Again, this is a crazy setup for that move because we have the MACD red, we have this bearish divergence, we have all of this bullish momentum starting to build, we have RSI extremely high, so there's plenty of room to run to the downside because RSI is this high, and RSI being this high normally means the market is overbought and due for a correction you can also see that market fear and greed is in extreme greed showing that this is possibly a top as well and you can see that some of the stocks that have been holding the market up like the semiconductors tech stocks apple microsoft some of the ai stocks are starting to see um fade pullbacks as well they're massively overbought and if those start to pull back you're going to see the market pull back in a big way multiple gap fills to the downside weekly macd already starting to curl down again and ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a setup for a big bearish pullback in my personal opinion. Everything the technicals are saying is screaming a massive pullback. And we do have a trade in the Discord ready for you guys already. So make sure you check that out. It's already ready for you guys. Check that out so you're ahead of this move because I think we're going to see a lot of bearishness this week. Obviously, I think we're going to be seeing a red candle printed on SPY. I repeat, I think we're going to see a red candle printed as far as the weekly candle is concerned. We have this double top right here top number one top number two already underneath 500 i think here on tuesday we're going to try to test 500 and get rejected and start moving to the downside moving into wednesday fomc we're going to see more bearishness and see that trend start to continue to the downside what i think is starting to happen is spy is starting to make its top and it's going to go into a downtrend in my personal opinion okay so i think we're going to come back down and start filling some of these gaps to the downside on spy coming down in a decent way starting an overall downtrend after ending this overall uptrend and again there's multiple indicators showing that if we go ahead and pop on the alligator as well you guys can see that the alligator on the two hour time frame starting to fade to bearishness on the hourly time frame a lot of bearish no momentum so if we do try to test 500 it doesn't look like it's going to hold on the daily time frame even you can start to see the band starting to curl to the downside if we look at some of the super trends as well you guys can see sell signals here on the two hour time frame and on the one hour time frame and if you go in the lower time frames you have sell signals as well after breaking down out of this rising wedge which normally means there's going to be a downtrend again even on the slower time frames more bearish momentum and rsi is not even yet over sold yet so this is what we're looking at as far as spy is concerned um again i do think it's going to be a bearish week for spy i think we're going to be seeing more downside in a big way in my personal opinion so i do think we're going to be seeing a red week for spy now let's go ahead and move into the meme stock show you guys what's going on for the meme stocks giving you guys the information and technicals that you need to know as far as that is concerned so as far as shares available to borrow we do have 750,000 shares available to borrow for amc 500,000 shares available to borrow for gme i believe they were saving these shares for this week because this week is going to be a big week for the meme stocks amc and gme and i'm going to explain here why that is in a second so I do think GME is still following on track to get out of that depression and start to move into that disbelief rally. As far as GME is concerned, macro, it is still tracking 100%. As long as it doesn't make a lower low than that $11.80, we're good to go. If you zoom out, GME kind of seems like it's baking an inverse head and shoulders on the bigger time frames. You can kind of see a shoulder here, a head here, and a shoulder forming here. If GameStop gets back above $15, you're definitely going to see a big move to the upside. Really, the key level that we need to break on the short term is $14.50. We have to get back above that. But as far as what I'm thinking we're going to see here on Tuesday and Wednesday, I think we're actually going to see a little bit of bearishness. We have that sloping resistance here. Um, we need to break above that. And that's at about $14.35. What I think is going to happen is we're going to consolidate, maybe see a little bearishness on Tuesday and then on Wednesday possibly see a pop to the upside maybe as late as Thursday I think we're going to see a little bit of consolidation for GME but GME if it gets above $15 it's going to start flying because of this bullish consolidation that it's had I told you guys the macro is still tracking when in doubt zoom out everything is very clear um, four hour MACD you guys can see Bollinger Band started to constrict again possibly some downside momentum coming for GameStop maybe even coming back down to this lower levels of like $13 
dollars and fifty cents thirteen dollars and twenty five cents retesting those levels making sure that support before moving up to the upside now um, again, as far as the macro is concerned, when in doubt, zoom out. Bollinger Bands constrict, constricting daily MACD green. Weekly MACD is also green. And then monthly MACD is starting to curl up. Again, very, very clear when you zoom out what is happening for GameStop. There was a very clear uh, euphoria style rally, which dropped into a bear market once that MACD turned green and we dropped out of that complacency stage. And then we're going to start moving back to the upside after we leave that depression stage. Again, um, here is what I'm referring to when I talk about that stuff. Here was that anger double bottom V-shaped style recovery that drops into a higher low that goes into your depression out of your depression stage. And that's what's happening here for GameStop. You have your V-shaped style recovery here. This is your V-shaped style recovery. Let me go to your weekly time frame. It's a little bit more easy to see here on the weekly time frame. Um, so you have that V-shaped style recovery right here, V-shaped or that double bottom anger, which drops into a lower low and then drops into a higher low, which is again, leaving your depression phase, right? Here's that V shape or that double bottom. I do apologize that drops into that V shape and then drops into that higher low. Right now, what GameStop is doing is building that bullish consolidation before making that move back to the upside. As long as we don't drop lower than $11.83, that is still in play in my personal opinion. Also, we're breaking out of a massive macro falling wedge, which is a bullish continuation pattern. Basically, you'll see um, that uptrend that GameStop has experienced the uptrend right here then you go into your bullish consolidation which breaks into another uptrend and then of course like I said monthly MACD starting to curl up showing that very very clearly uptrend falling wedge which leads into an uptrend same way Bitcoin has done it is the same way GameStop is going to do it in my personal opinion uptrend falling wedge uptrend so that's what i'm looking at for gme stock i do have higher price targets for gme in the future up to these 37 dollar and 39 dollar gap fills and possibly as high as 73 dollars for gme stock as i do think it's going to break out of this falling wedge and move back to the upside in my personal opinion um, as far as the weekly candle is concerned i think gamestop is going to print a green week a green week for gme stock um, I do think we'll be able to pull off a green week for GME stock. Now let's go ahead and move in to AMC and show you guys what's going on for AMC and finish up with the weekly update and prediction and give you guys the technicals that you need to know. So as you guys can see, AMC, um, I think we're going to see a little bit of consolidation here on Tuesday. So I think we're going to have to retest some of these lower levels here on Tuesday. AMC is in a very, very precarious situation because if we get above $5, you're going to see more upside. Okay, there's not a doubt about it. That's why I have it marked in gold. If we get above $5, it can hold that level of support. You're going to see more upside. There's going to be a ton of calls at $5. I don't have the gamma um, right here because we don't have that information, but there's going to be a ton of calls at $5, which could give us a significant push to the upside. And that $5 level is also a huge psychological level as well. So if we get above $5 and hold that level, you're going to see a continuation to the upside. That is why they used or have all these shares for this week because this is a major week for amc stock they do not want it above that five dollar level they want to push it closer towards four dollars and fifty cents so this is what we're looking at for amc as far as uh tuesday is concerned i think we will consolidate then come back down retesting about four dollars and 75 cents and then get a push back to the upside we do have multiple gap fills back to the upside for amc i think on tuesday and wednesday we could see a little bit of bearishness as far as the weekly candle is concerned so as far as what type of candle we could see um you guys can see we have deep green macd okay so i'm thinking we're going to see another green week on AMC, you guys can see I was right last week calling green week and the week before calling a green week. I think we're going to see a bullish continuation and have another green week. We have that bullish divergence starting to play out. We have a lot of things starting to play out. We just broke out of this falling wedge. We have a deep green MACD on the daily time frame. If you go ahead and look at what the alligator is saying, you guys can see that the alligator is starting to cross bullish even on the daily time frame. On the four hour time frame, we have it spread 
far apart. So we have decent bands on the four hour time frame showing that there's a lot of momentum. You guys can see we're sp still spread far apart on the alligator showing that there's more momentum to the upside. You guys can see that we have a little bit of bearishness. So I wouldn't be cons um, concerned if AMC consolidated even to the downside. It looks like we're possibly making a falling wedge on this bigger time frame. So even if AMC did consolidate to the downside just a little bit, it's possibly a bullish pennant or falling wedge. I don't have enough touch points at this point. We definitely have a sloping resistance here that if we break above, we'll see a pop to the upside. Possible pennant shape right here. But if we consolidate to the downside towards $4.50, I would not be that concerned, okay? So this week, I do think we're going to see more bullish continuation to the upside based off of everything that I'm seeing. There's a lot of bullish signals starting to flash on AMC. You can tell if you've been watching this stock, the momentum is definitely starting to change. Daily or four-hour uh, super trend, bullish. Even on the daily time frame, we have a buy signal on the super trend. Ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. AMC also having consecutive green days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven consecutive green days in a row on A. AMC stock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like bullish momentum is returning for AMC stock. And I also believe that I personally called the bottom because I said there was not a world that I believe AMC would go lower than $3.60. AMC bottoming at $3.58. I was two cents off with that call. Now I'm telling you that I believe that Amy's revenge is what I'm calling it is starting to happen where AMC is going to go into what's called a disbelief rally. Again, I showed you guys here earlier what a disbelief rally is. It's when AMC starts to go up, but people will not believe it goes up because they've been conditioned to think it's only going to go down because of it was in a bear market. This is how bear markets end. We did what we needed to do on AMC. We started to build a bullish base. I was talking about it as it was happening. We started to consolidate. We dropped down into this spring right here, hitting that low. And now I think we're going to start seeing an overall uptrend for AMC stock. Yes, there will be pullbacks in that uptrend, just the same way Bitcoin had pullbacks in its uptrend. There will be pullbacks in the uptrend that's going to be a healthy pullback but overall i think amc is going to start going into an uptrend and if you look at some of these price targets that we have for amc we have much higher price targets because if we go ahead and pop on some of the things like the moving averages and then go on these bigger time frames and these time frames moving averages will be tested you guys can see that the 50 moving average is up here at 24 dollars. the 200 moving average is way up here at 71 dollars. we also have massive gap fills right here on amc stock all the way up to 37 to 43 dollars if you look at some of the gains on some of this stuff right now if you bought at these lower prices right here if we just retest the 50 moving average that's a 469 percent gain if we fill the gap which will get filled that's a 900 percent gain and if you go all the way to the 200 moving average which i do think will get retested it will move around sometimes uh, as time goes on but right now time of recording it's over a 1600 percent gain on amc stock whether you Believe it or not, yes, that is what the technicals are showing you. And I live and breathe by the technicals because they have done me very, very well throughout my career. Again, weekly MACD looking very, very green. And then, of course, when in doubt, zoom out. If you look at the monthly, it's very, very clear that the monthly is curling up as well. AMC about to go in its disbelief rally, the early stages of leaving its bear market, which will then lead into an overall hope, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria type style bull run for amc stock yes and this one could be very 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 epic and the shorts know it everyone knows it. it is time you guys can see that the cycle has played out we have had our euphoria then we went into our deep bear market into our depression and now we are starting to change characteristics and leave that phase ladies and gentlemen this is the video I have for you. If you found this video informative, go ahead and drop a like. Press subscribe for more content like this. And remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. Again, everything I say is based off the charts, the facts, and the data. Please do your own research and technical analysis before you make any financial decisions. Just a quick other few bonus updates real quick. Just showing that AMC is showing multiple golden crosses. That's when the 50 moving average crosses over.
over the 200 moving average 50 marked in gold 200 marked in white you can see that here on the one hour time frame you can see that here on the two hour time frame and you can see that here how almost starting to happen on the four hour time frame showing a lot of bullishness you can also see that we're above the 200 moving average here on the four hour time frame showing a lot of bullishness as well amc showing huge signs of bullishness from the super trend buy signals to the golden crosses to the breakout of the falling wedge all of these things are indicating more continuation to the upside and a green week for amc stock so it was a red week for spy a green week for amc and a green week for gme and some people have said why do you say that happens listen it's happened before where spy has been red and amc has been green and gme has been green so obviously i'm giving the predictions i'm giving for a reason ladies and gentlemen that is the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like press subscribe for more content like this remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates and as always y'all have fun stay safe make money peace out all right y'all that was the video if you found it informative go ahead and drop a like press subscribe for more content like this you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates the discord is 50 dollars for a lifetime invite go ahead and hit me up on my email instagram or twitter those are linked down below in the description just say hey i want to join the discord and i will get back to you i prefer if you hit me up on email but i know some people don't always have an email if you found the video informative please drop a like and leave a comment to help the video grow and as always y'all have fun stay safe Big money. Peace out.